Hi guys, welcome to part 15 of Angular tutorial series for absolute beginners by Tech Tech Tips in 2019. Friends, in today's video tutorial, we will learn that how can we add static resources like CSS, JavaScript, or any other library, images, etc., etc., into our Angular project easily with different methods. So, without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So to add static resources, there, there are three places from where you can add your static resources like CSS, JavaScript or images, etc, etc. So the first place is you can copy all your static resources inside the assets folder, which is in the SRC folder. And you can create further folders here like CSS, JS, images and copy your resources into it. And then you can add them inside your project. So the second method is you can use CDN content delivery networks and you can directly include them inside index.html file but make sure the images either you need to use them like uh, if I show you in the home app component.html here they were they are using by default uh, base64 images in the img source you can do that like that as well as well as you can add your images inside assets folder and then you can add them or you can upload them on any CDN network and then include the links inside your project. And this is the second method. method. The third method is using node modules. So many uh, CSS uh, frameworks like Bootstrap, Foundation, uh, Bulma or any other uh, CSS frameworks you can install them using npm node package manager and then they will be available inside your node modules and you can add them inside your style sheet. So let's see the first step. So as for the first step, I have copied a, an image angular 8.png inside images folder. I have created this images folder inside assets folder. And then I copied one angular 8.png file here. You can see this is our PNG file. Now I can add this PNG file anywhere in my project. So suppose that I want to add it in the app to do dash task HTML file. Here I would like to add it. So what I need to do here that first I will create a div here and then I will use img tag and in the source. Now if you see I am two level deep and that I am in the source folder and the asset is inside source folder but my file is inside source then inside app then inside to do task. So I have to go two steps back to get the path to the assets folder. So what I need to type double dot slash double dot slash and then I will get to the assets folder you can see assets folder are shown in VS code and so I will click it and then it will show me images sorry images slash angular 8 dot png and if I save this and go to my browser and you see it is now shown here in the browser so this is how you can add static resources using assets folder and you can copy anything inside this and then you can add it like this inside your angular project so this is the one way so let's see the next way so the second way i mentioned is using cdn or content delivery networks so for that suppose i need the path to bootstrap so i will go to my browser and in the new tab i will go to get bootstrap.com so I want to add bootstrap inside my project so I will go to downloads and from here I will find the path to the CSS file and here it is this file so uh, I will simply copy complete link from here and I will copy it and after copying it I will simply go to my VS code and then I will go to the source folder and in the source folder inside index.html and in the head section anywhere I can simply put this link as it is so integrity and cross region I will remove it it's not necessary to add it and after that I will save it and as soon as I will I saved it you will see that now my website has enabled bootstrap font and styling default bootstrap font and styling and if I go to view inspect elements so inside head section you can see that we have linked style sheet with this CDN network. So this is the second way to add your static resources inside your angular projects. So let's see the third step. So as I mentioned earlier in the third step we can use npm to install 
bootstrap inside of a project and then we can add it inside of a project so let's add using np npm manager node package manager so on the vs code terminal i will simply type npm install bootstrap and i will press the enter if you want to install bootstrap 3 then just put at the rate 3 after typing bootstrap and it will install bootstrap 3 but i will use the default latest version so that's why i didn't mention anything so it will take few seconds and then it will be installed inside our project so now it is successfully installed bootstrap 4.3.1 inside our node modules so here if i go to b double bootstrap uh, here it is dist folder css folder and we have everything here so now how can we add it the best way to add this in your, inside your project are two places one is that directly import it inside the styles.css file which i don't recommend what i do mostly when i'm creating project in angular i use angular.json file and here inside the style tab of your architect build you simply add before your styles.css so that if you want to override any stylings you can write your styling in styles.css so inside here i will simply put double quotes and a comma and then i need to put the path here so is as you can see i and the angular json file is on the root so it means i can simply go to the same level and then i will go to the node modules and after that i will go to bootstrap and from the bootstrap i will simply go to the dist folder then css folder then bootstrap.min.css after typing this it will not be implemented if your server is running you need to restart your server so i will go to the terminal stop the server and then i will run the server again so that it will load whatever changes you have made inside your angular.json file so just wait a few seconds so that it can recompile each and everything and it will load this node module bootstrap this css bootstrap min.css file into the into your project and then you will see the same styling applied to this project so not, right now it's not applied so wait for a few seconds now it's loaded and now you can see that welcome to nga tab and lorem ipsum is showing angular styling yeah, sorry bootstrap styling so let's modify our project which we have created in the last video tutorial and add some css bootstrap styling to our form and to our uh, listing which we have used so to add some bootstrap styling first of all i will remove this image because it's not needed i just added it to show you that how does how can we add images so i will simply remove it and then i will add a class is equal to container here and then i can add class row inside row i will add call md6 dot offset md3 and these are bootstrap styling so it's not the course of bootstrap but if you need me to create bootstrap course for you do let me know in the comment section so i will create a separate bootstrap course for you so in the ul i will add class list unstyled so that bullets will not be shown anymore and then i will put this complete text in the paragraph tag and for the h4 i will use h6 and with the class alert alert error so that it is shown as the error so i will that there is no task found so let's let it to be recompiled and also if you see let me see okay so for the button i will add the classes class is equal to btn btn primary and you will see it must be applied to it so let's see that why it is not working here so let me see it is value the class has not been added uh, let me actually sometime this is styling does not apply so you have to restart two three times so this one sorry i added into the cross i have to add it here as well 
so class is equal to btn btn primary and after that it will work so now it's showing like this and from the, for the class uh, sorry for the text i will use form control and for this i can use form group as well so you see now over style is like full width text and below we have add to task and i can make it a block level by using btn block so now we have it something like that so new task added and i will click here and you will see new task added and this button has been added so i can use primary to uh, i think it is danger so that it will have a red color so new task add and now we have new task and a cross uh, button and i can make it btn sm uh, i think it is btn sm yeah so new task added so you see now the button is small so now i can use it inside my project so this is how we can add static resources inside our angular projects so guys this is it this was our video tutorial for today where we learned that how can we add static resources to our angular project hopefully you liked this video tutorial if you did then don't forget to press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel tech tech tools then please do consider and subscribe to it so that you will get notified as soon as i upload a new video or start a new series on any topic so guys thank you very much take care and goodbye